Hi everyone and welcome to the following of the crowdfunding to smart contracts. So here we're going to continue with the rest of the smart contract by writing the function called contribute. So function contribute. So it, get, it will get the uint 256 amount, uint 256 amount. So as you can remember, I uh, said at the beginning of the previous video that uh, with the, in the crowdfunding one, we wouldn't determine the amount that we wanted to fund the project with. But here, uh, because uh, we want to determine the amount, we'll contribute with a specific amount that we want to fund the project with. So that's why we are writing this function. So public payable, public payable. And now uh, it will require that the campaign not closed. So not campaign closed. And otherwise it will show the user campaign is closed. Campaign is closed. Okay, so now we will have another will have another requirement require that uh, the amount be uh, greater than zero amount greater than zero otherwise show to the user invalid contribution amount Here we go, and then um, so now we'll uh, write the contribution. So this is the array of the contributions. So msg sender plus equal amount. So once uh, both these conditions are met, then We'll add the uh, contributions uh, of the message sender who created the contract plus equal the amount that has been entered. And then um, current amount plus equal amount. Current amount plus equal amount. So it will emit the event related to the contribution received contribution received so msg.sender and amount msg.sender and amount so it, it, it this is received by the msg.sender and by the amount amount and then if current amount is greater than the goal amount so we'll write this uh, for the time that the person who funds, wants to fund the contract um, enters something greater than the goal amount, then uh, we will close the campaign. So campaign closed will be true and it will emit the campaign closed equals true. So, or uh, the current amount. So maybe the person doesn't enter something greater than the goal amount, but the current amount uh, exceeds that um, goal amount. So then we'll uh, close the campaign. So greater than or equal the goal amount. So if uh, instead of the if, instead of the if campaign closed equals to true, and we'll emit the campaign closed true campaign closed true so actually uh, be very careful about these two because this is a variable it starts with a uh, small letter but this one is the event it starts with capital letter so make sure you do not mix these two up together okay that's it for this function and
the next function is withdraw funds after the campaign is closed then uh, you can withdraw funds right so function withdraw funds we'll get nothing and this is a public function so we need to check two requirements at the beginning of this function the person who withdraws the funds should be the message sender also uh, the um, contribution should be uh, greater than zero and the campaign must be closed as well so here we do not check the message sender because the person who is allowed is the message sender but uh, we'll require that campaign is closed so campaign closed and then otherwise campaign is still open we write campaign is still open so for example if the message sender decides that suddenly that at the uh, in the middle of the um, crowdfunding he or she wants to withdraw the funds but the campaign is not closed he or she won't be able to end the campaign because here in the smart contract which is a decentralized uh, contract we have determined the uh, uh, campaign to be closed uh, just at the time that uh, the goal the current amount exceeds the goal amount right and by the way i think that uh, in the above if statement uh, we have current amount not current so here current amount okay now uh, let's continue that will require that also the contributions of the message sender be greater than zero so contributions of the message that sender msg dot sender be greater than zero otherwise no contributions to, to withdraw so uh, there must be at least one contribution so that the person who has uh, created the contract will be able to withdraw the funds otherwise we'll show to you to the message that sender contributions uh, no contributions to withdraw So you int to fifty six amount should equal to contributions of the message sender contributions of the MSG dot sender. So this is the money that has been gathered and contributions of the message sender then should uh, be equal to zero. So we'll have payable msg.sender dot transfer amount dot transfer amount. So the amount will be transferred to the message sender who has created the contract. So that's it. Now we can write to receive and fallback for being able to fund the contract. Receive. external payable oh external payable and fallback external payable oh again let's fix this fix this external payable let's 
so okay let's do this and let's save this now let's see what is the problem project owner so um, oh here we need semicolon instead of the comma there seems to be another error so it's right over here error receive so receive I think it's about dispelling right this is receive this way so now it's been successfully compiled and we're ready to deploy the contract so now we're ready to deploy the contract but we will do this uh, in the next video so until the next one goodbye